Hey guys, it's apple season and today we're making an apple pecan crisp. Now this crisp would be just as welcome on a weeknight as it would be at a fancy dinner party for friends. And guess what? It has about half the butter and sugar of traditional crisp recipes. And by the way, I'm gonna give you a vegan version as well. And it's completely gluten free, but I promise you would never know it. First, we're gonna make the crisp topping, which is my favorite part. So I've got some whole oats that I put into a mini food processor and I'm gonna grind them to a flour. We're gonna use this oat flour in place of all-purpose flour, making these crisps gluten-free. Transfer the oat flour to a bowl, then pop the processor bowl back on its base and we're gonna use it to chop some nuts. I'm using pecans, you could use walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds, whatever you like. And essentially this is going to save us a step from having to chop them by hand. So we're gonna add the nuts to the bowl along with rolled oats, maple sugar or light brown sugar, salt, and then some spices. I love cinnamon with apples, so I'm gonna add a touch of cinnamon and a touch of freshly grated nutmeg. Now pour in melted butter, or for a vegan version, use melted coconut oil, and then just stir this until the oats are nicely coated and sticky. Now that the topping is made, let's talk about the filling. We need some apples. You can go for any sweet tart apple variety you like. I'm using Granny Smith's for their tart flavor and because they hold up really well in the crisp. You'll need about five medium apples, which you're gonna want to first peel and then chop. Now to core the apples, I cut them in half, then cut them into quarters and use my knife to slice out that core. Just slice down at a diagonal and the core and the seeds will come right out. Now that my apple is peeled and cored, I'm going to dice it. You wanna aim for about three quarter inch chunks. This is going to allow the apples to cook quickly and evenly. Transfer the apples to a large bowl and now let's flavor them up. I'm going to sweeten them with some more maple sugar. Again, you can use brown sugar, some cinnamon, and some ground cardamom, which is optional, but which I highly recommend. Last but not least, some vanilla paste. I love vanilla paste because it provides real intense vanilla flavor, but is way cheaper than vanilla bean. But you could use fresh vanilla bean here instead, or just omit it completely. Stir this until all of those apples are coated, and now it's time to fill our ramekins. I'm using individual ramekins, but you could cook this in an eight by eight inch baking dish, mini cast iron skillets, whatever you have or whatever you like. Pile in the apples. You wanna make sure they're nice and snug. Now we're going to dot the apples with a touch of butter, or again, you could use coconut oil for a vegan version. This is gonna provide a little bit more richness to the filling. We're only using one tablespoon of butter, so I'm gonna dice it up really small and then sprinkle each ramekin with a few pieces of butter. If you're using a larger baking dish, you can just sprinkle it evenly over the top. Now for the topping. We are going to layer that crisp topping over the apples, and here's my trick. Use your hands to press the topping into an even firm layer. This is going to make it even crispier. Place a piece of parchment paper over the ramekins or baking dish, and then cover it tightly with foil. The parchment is going to prevent the topping from sticking to the foil. Slide it into a 375 degree oven for 35 minutes. We're not quite done yet. We're gonna take this out of the oven and remove the parchment paper and foil. Put the pan back in the oven, increase the oven temperature to 400 degrees, and bake for 15 to 20 minutes longer until it's golden brown and bubbly around the edges. At this point, your kitchen is going to smell like heaven. Now you can serve the crisps straight out of the oven or you can let them cool to room temperature. I like to serve them warm with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. In my opinion, there is no dessert as cozy and delicious as a hot, apple crisp and that cold melty ice cream. 
Oh my gosh, is your mouth watering yet? I know mine sure is. Go get this recipe at fromscratchfast.com. And remember, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.